All right, example A asks us to reflect the triangle ABC first over the y-axis and then translate the image eight units down. So we're gonna take the triangle and first we're gonna flip it over the y-axis. So it's, it's as if this y-axis were a mirror and we were looking at the mirror image on the other side. And then we're gonna slide the whole thing down eight units. So first let's find the location of the reflection. So our C location here, it's currently two points to the right and four units up. So if it were reflected, it would be two points to the left and four units up. So this would be C prime. And then A uh, location A is eight, eight. So it would be negative eight, eight. So this is A prime up here. And B is 10, two, so it would be negative 10. 2, so this would be B prime down here. So now we have our new triangle, A prime, B prime, C prime over here. Now we need to take that triangle and we need to slide it straight down by 8 units. So effectively what we're going to do is just subtract 8 from every x coordinate. So if our x coordinate, or our y coordinate, I mean, if our y coordinate for C now is at um, this is what, negative 2, 4? Well, if we subtract 8 from that, we're going to be at negative 4, and our x coordinate is going to stay the same. Now our a is at 8, 8, so if we subtract 8 from it, it's just going to be 0, right? So 8, negative 8, 0. And then this one's at 2, and if we subtract 8 from it, we're going to be at negative 6. So our, our uh, prime prime location, so a prime prime, so the image of the image, and C prime prime and B prime prime will be down here exactly eight units below our prime triangle. So this one is A, B, C prime prime and this is triangle A, B, C ah. keep drawing A's instead of triangles. There we go, triangle A, B, C prime. Cool. All right, let's take a look at example B. Example B says, write a single rule to go from triangle ABC to A prime prime, B prime prime, C prime prime from our, from our uh, example A. Well, if we take a look at our original position here, our original locations here at A, C, and B all have, obviously, their, their locations. C, for instance, is at 2, 4. So if C is originally 2, 4, Oh, that green is hard to see on that. Let's go to orange. If C starts out at 2, 4, and then ends over here at negative 2, negative 4, and A starts out at 8, 8, and then ends at negative 8, 0, we can see that what we're doing is changing the sign of the first number. Our 8 became a negative 8, going from here to here. And our second number goes down by 8. 8 minus 8 is 0, and 4 minus 8 is negative 4. So our rule then, to go from x, y, to our new location, is to translate by making the x value negative, and then subtracting 8 from the y value. So now we have a single rule. We just swap the sign on the x location of the original point. So if b was 10, 2, so if our original point was 10, 2, then it would become negative 10, and then 2 minus 8, or negative 6. And our b location over here is at negative 10, negative 6. So we can see we can write a single rule for that double translation. We did that, com that uh, composed transformation, the glide reflection that we did originally. Yeah? All right, let's take a look at the next one. Example C says reflect ABC over Y equals 3 and then reflect that over Y equals negative 5. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is draw in these lines y equals 3 and y equals negative 5. So we have our original triangle, ABC, up here on top. And first thing we're going to do is reflect it over y equals 3. 
and that's going to put us in between those two lines. So if I take A and reflect it down and B and C and reflect them down, then our triangle that's originally up here in blue is going to look like this here. Now we're in red. We've reflected it over that original line, Y equals 3. So now we have A prime, B prime, and C prime. Yeah. Now if we reflect it again a second time, we're going to reflect it over this line here, y equals negative 5, and now we're going to have a prime prime, b prime prime, and c prime prime down here on the bottom. So we have a, a double reflection. First we reflect it over y equals 3, and then over y equals negative 5. Now according to our rule, that means we could have just done a single slide that encompassed the entire thing. And we can recognize that that's the case if we just sort of look at the position of the triangle based on how it started. The A, the B, and the C are all in the same relative location as A prime prime, B prime prime, and C prime prime, right? So we could have just taken that original triangle and slid it straight down by a specific number of units, which would have been the same as doing that double reflection. Yeah? Okay. Example D. Last example says, a square is reflected over two lines that intersect at a 79 degree angle. What transformation is this the same as? So if we sort of visualize this, we have our square down here. This is our original over here on the right. And if we reflect it over two lines that intersect at 79 degrees, well, these two lines right here and right here are approximately 79 degrees apart. They're not exactly right, but you get the idea. If I take my original square down on the bottom right and I reflect it over that first one, then I'd end up with a square here in the middle somewhere, right? And then I reflect it again and I end up over here on the left. But that, by reflecting that thing over those two lines twice, I end up doing the same thing as if I were to just take the original and rotate it all the way around. And we can see how far we would rotate it just by taking the degrees between the two lines we reflected them over and multiply by 2. So since it's 79 degrees between our two lines, which is what they told us in the question, we just take 79 and double it, 2 times 79. That gives us 178 degrees. And that tells us we could take our original figure and rotate it around 178 degrees to get to our new figure, our prime version of that square. Cool? That's all we have.